Why will East Africa break up and merge with India? Earth is always changing. Our planet never stays the same for very long. Over millions of years, it has developed in many ways to become the version we are familiar with today. However, this current version too won't last forever. And even now, the Earth is changing slowly and subtly in many little ways. One continent that is rapidly changing, however, is Africa. Africa is breaking up and the eastern part of the continent is slowly drifting toward India. How do we know this? Let's find out in today's video. The continent of Africa is one of the most important parts of the Earth today, not only for humanity, but for all life. This is where a majority of the Earth's remaining species of unique flora and fauna reside. Africa has the youngest population in the world, with 1.4 billion people it accounts for about 20% of the world's population. With the youthful nature of its population, the vast territory in terms of land, the diversity of flora and fauna, and the rich natural resources the continent provides, Africa will undoubtedly have a huge role to play in determining the future of our planet. If you look at a map of the world today, you will see that a portion of the east coast of Africa fits almost perfectly with the west coast of the Indian subcontinent. Now, why is that? We'll get into that in a little while. But before that, did you know that India also shares many similarities with Africa as a continent? Firstly, India too has a massive population of over a billion people, and this population is relatively young as well. While it may not have the same amount of land and resources as Africa due to its limited size, India is not lacking in terms of biodiversity at all. It is home to various flora and fauna that inhabit, that inhabit vastly different environments. From the harsh heat of the Thar Desert, from the harsh heat of the Thar Desert, to the mountainous regions of the towering Himalayas. The Himalayas, the tallest mountain range in the world, play a huge role in maintaining the environment and climate of India. But they may not hold their place as the tallest mountain range in the world forever. We'll be looking at this later on in the video, so make sure you stick around till the end. Millions and millions of years ago, the Earth was not as it is today. The continents were not separated by oceans, but were actually all joined together as one gigantic landmass. The massive landmass or supercontinent known as Pangaea. So then, how did this huge piece of land break up into the continents we are familiar with today? Well, the answer to that is a bit complex, but can be understood if one can grasp the concept of plate tectonics. What are plate tectonics and how do they affect the Earth? The theory of plate tectonics is the generally accepted scientific theory that states that the surface of the Earth as a planet, or its lithosphere as it's known scientifically, is made up of several large plates called tectonic plates, which have been moving around for over 3.5 billion years and how they caused the formation of the planet as we know it today to occur. When tectonic plates move and collide with each other, they cause many geological processes to happen. And it's through these processes that many geographical features, such as the splitting of the continents and the formation of mountain ranges have occurred. Now, let us take a look at the past and how it affected the present in terms of Africa, India, and the Himalayas. When Pangaea first began to break into smaller continents about 250 million years ago, the land now India was joined to what is East Africa today. As the supercontinent began to split, the tectonic plates underneath India shifted, breaking India away from the mainland of Africa, and it began to drift northwards towards Asia, and it began to drift northwards towards Asia. The fact that India was joined to Africa at the time is a fact that is only further proved by how we see their coastlines fitting even today. As India drifted towards Asia, this was not a quick process, but took over 150 million years. 
It was only around 50 million years ago that the Indian tectonic plate began to collide with the Eurasian plate. It is this collision of India with the mainland of Asia that caused the Himalayas to be formed. If you're curious to know how, well, to put it simply, when two tectonic plates collide, their impact causes an uplift of the land mass. The force of the two plates pushing together causes the land above it to rise. The collision of the two massive plates of India and Asia is what formed the Himalayas. And in fact, the Himalayas are still growing today at a rate of one centimeter per year, as the plates are still being pushed together. The reason the Himalayas stand as the tallest mountain range in the world is the fact that this collision was one of the most recent to occur in terms of plate tectonics, as well as one of the largest in terms of the size of the plates coming to the present. If one takes a look at East Africa, there's an interesting phenomenon that can be observed. This is the Eastern African Rift System, a wonder of the geological world. The East African Rift System is a place where currently the Earth's tectonic forces are splitting apart the old tectonic plates to create new ones. It's actually through the study of this area that scientists have learned a great deal regarding how plate tectonics function. The rift is the fracture or break in the Earth's surface that occurs due to the movement of these plates. The process is so well displayed in this part of East Africa that covers the countries of Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya, and Ethiopia that the rift has created a valley across the region known as the East African Rift Valley. Scientists have even named the new plate that will be formed if the old plate breaks apart completely. The Nubian Plate is the tectonic plate that is under most of the continent of Africa. However, the portion that is breaking away from it has been named the Somalian Plate. But what will happen when this plate breaks apart completely? Well, while there is no definitive answer, through the study of such events in the past, geologists have theorized that the Somalian Plate that breaks apart from the mainland of Africa could drift eastwards towards the Indian subcontinent. However, Due to the slow nature of these processes, this could take well over 200 million years to occur. But what would happen if the new Somalian plate does collide with the Indian tectonic plate one day? Well, scientists believe that if this were to occur, a new mountain range, which they have named the Somalia Mountains, could be formed due to the uplift occurring at the point of contact between the Somalian and Indian tectonic plates. This new mountain range could rival the Himalayas in terms of height and may be taller than them when fully formed. In addition to the formation of this new mountain range, the tectonic collision would also combine the lands that today are Kenya, Tanzania, and Somalia with the Indian subcontinent, forming a new supercontinent like Pangaea in the days past. While this is surely amazing to think about, we will not be alive to witness the formation of these towering new mountains or this massive new landmass. The process required for this to occur does not take place at speed that humans can witness during their short lifespans. It may take hundreds of millions of years for this to be properly completed, and with the effects of climate change, and the destruction we as a species are inflicting on the earth. Who knows if humanity will even be around to witness this. We can only hope that it is so. Many ancient philosophers have stated that time is cyclical and that what goes around eventually comes back around. While these philosophers do not know the science behind the shifting of the earth itself, maybe they were in tune with some higher forces because they are, without a doubt, as right as can be. Just as in the past, India broke away from Africa to drift towards Asia and collide with it to form a massive continent and the highest peaks in the world. And in the future, we may see a part of Africa break away from the mainland mass and collide with India that once left it, forming a new subcontinent, forming a new supercontinent, and a new mountain range taller than any ever seen before. The destinies of India and Africa have always been linked, and they continue to share more similarities between them in terms of culture 
and environment than most places in the world. And who knows? In the future, they may be reunited once again. What are your thoughts on Africa and India colliding to form one supercontinent? Do let us know in the comments below. That's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.